Grabbing the Italian bull by the horns, auto access is next. It's one of the hottest sports car brands on the market, and today, Auto Access is taking a closer look at none other than Lamborghini. Since 1963, Automobili Lamborghini has been producing some of the highest profile sports cars on the market. Recently acquired by Audi, this Italian manufacturer continues to build state-of-the-art supercars like the Murcielago and the newly released Gallardo. To find out what we can expect in the near future, Auto Access met up with Manfred Fitzgerald, the director of marketing for Automobili Lamborghini. The Gallardo Spider, uh, which you see here, is our latest product, a uh, 10-cylinder open version of the Gallardo Coupe, which we introduced in 2003. It is one of the most fastest open version sports cars in this category. What we had as an objective is to maintain uh, the look and the styling of this vehicle in closed condition and also in open conditions. Now, in open conditions, without the roof, it was also a, a prime objective of having a true spider feeling. For Cielago, we introduced already in 2001. Uh, the Roadster we brought to the market here last year. Great success for us. Our most powerful product. Uh, it's uh, the top of the line. From the factory, these cars are loaded, but we wanted to find out if there was room for just a few more goodies. I'm here at Redline Motor Group in West Hollywood, where they take a nearly perfect car and modify it to make it that much better. Redline Motor Group has an interesting challenge because modifying a Lamborghini isn't like modifying a Honda Civic or a, a Toyota Celica or something like that. You know, those cars are made for the mass market, so there's a lot you can do to make them faster. A Lamborghini is built from the factory to go fast. In fact, the engineers at Lamborghini have spent millions of dollars of R&D money making that exhaust system or that drivetrain as efficient and as purpose-built for performance as possible. So how can you make the thing quick? We're here with Nick, manager of Redline Motor Group. So Nick, Let's say I'm going to spend, first of all, from the factory... Uh, 200, 200 to 218,000. Okay, so I've dropped my 218 grand on this car. Okay. What can I do to really make this thing incredibly personalized? Well, with the introduction of the Gallardo car, we have a whole new line. We do a whole wide body kit for these cars. We have an ECU upgrade that's matched to a new exhaust. We have a suspension upgrade and a variety of wheel and tire packages. When you see our wide body kit, it's tremendous. It makes the car look like it should have been from the factory. Once they stop in, we have a variety of wheel and tire packages that make the cars unique and beautiful. We've got all the way from 18-inch to 20-inch packages, OZ Racing, we've got HRE wheels, we've got BBS, and we've got every kind of part and accessory available for this car that comes in carbon fiber. What are the largest wheels so far to fit on this car? 20-inch. 20 20-inch, 20 yeah. and you've got plans for the 22s? No 22 plans as of now, but if somebody wants to risk it, we'll do it. And the drivability is maintained throughout. Correct. Absolutely. One of the joys of owning a car that is so impressive to look at is taking it out on the road and showing it off. Auto Access was invited to come along with Lambo Power, a group of Lamborghini enthusiasts who love to cruise. My name's Dustin Troyan, and I operate Village Coffee Roaster in Woodland Hills. And every Sunday, we have regular car gatherings. The last Sunday of the month is the largest. We call it Euro Sunday. And on any given day, you'll see 25, 30 Lamborghinis. And it's a great community. And it basically shows the passion and enthusiasm of Southern California motorsport enthusiasts. Are these Lamborghinis, what are they called? Yeah. Murcielagos. Murcielagos, Gallardos, Countach, really? Diablos. How much do those things cost? Three and a half, depending. 180 all the way to three and a half, 400K. So, uh, four years of salary? <laughs> <laughs> The Murcielago Roadster, I mean, when you see it, the presence that it offers, the sound, the angles, it, it just, it's just wow, it just pops and grabs you. It's like a really amazing woman. The nice thing about Lamborghinis is when you park next to other Lamborghinis, you're guaranteed no door dings. Although the trees and the sap you gotta watch out for. This paint uh, was special order, it's called Oro Donis, and it's the only coupe in the States right now in this color. So, you know, I fell in love, it's different. The thing about the cars that I like uh, that made me an enthusiast is the fact that they're so wild. They're very in your face, obnoxious, insane. I have been driving Lamborghinis for about three, four years now. Fun to drive.
nice thing about this car is it's got the uh, the E gear, the F1 shifting, it shifts faster than most six speeds. You can drive the car and actually keep your foot to the, the floorboard and never lift up, either on a downshift or an upshift. The car automatically matches the RPMs to where it needs to go. The shift is smooth. The air scoops uh, on the rear will open when the temperature gets to certain degrees. Otherwise, you can manually open them at speeds up to about 40 miles an hour. They say the, the Lamborghini owner, owners are better lovers. <laughs> the torque on a Lamborghini, none of, none of the cars that have it. They go fast, but the torque with the Lamborghini is different. And the power and the looks, and it's awesome. The rest of my life, I'm going to own Lamborghini because I love Lamborghini. I'm a Lamborghini lover. When you have 10, 15 Lamborghinis pull in off a freeway, it stops any car show because you never see it. It's unparalleled. The exhaust on this car's stock at the moment. But after tomorrow, it won't be. Um, they definitely come from the factory, not as noisy as they should be. Uh, the car looks the part, but it doesn't sound the part. And one way for Lamborghini owners to make their cars sound the part is by modifying the exhaust and actually reducing the amount of restriction in the exhaust. That, of course, increases the sound and, and the audible note of the exhaust. But the exhaust on the stock Lamborghini is so efficient that in order to really get a measurable amount of horsepower gain out of that, the ECU has to be remapped. So the conjunction of higher flow exhaust and remapped ECU can give us some horsepower gains. An exhaust upgrade would be the first step. Nick wanted to show me a fully modified Murcielago that got the complete Redline Motor Group treatment. What is special about this particular Murcielago? What we did was we started off with a 2005 Murcielago Roadster. Yeah. It starts off with 580 horsepower. We matched the ECU to the Capristo exhaust. We've got 620 horsepower. So, so you got a good 40 horsepower. 40 horse, absolutely. Wow. And is most of that due to the mapping, do you think, or the exhaust? It's a combination of the two. One doesn't work well without the other. And what else, then, besides those two things does this car have? What we did was we had a 20-inch wheel put on the rear okay. and a 19-inch wheel put on the front. Okay. They're running a 13-inch wide wheel on the back with a 345 Pirelli tire on the rear. Yeah. This thing really sticks to the road. It'd be a good drifting car, actually. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm up for trying that out. Why don't we take it for a ride and you can find out how you like it. You don't have to ask me twice. All right. The initial feeling of the Murcielago behind the wheel is that it's just massive. Can't wait to open this thing up and see what kind of uh, feeling you get from 620 horsepower on pump gas. With 620 horsepower, the Redline Murcielago is a menace on the open road. But when cruising down Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, it's not easy to test the performance capabilities of the car. For some reason, though, the experience is equally satisfying. You can just hear and feel the violence of that engine behind you just pushing at your back. It's a very cool thing. It kind of feels like you're mounted to the front of a freight train. And you can tell as the speed increase and you just start mowing through gears, that thrust is not going to let up. And just the driving experience, one, it makes you feel like a smaller human being. Even somebody with my huge mass getting into this car doesn't feel so big. But when you've got this engine pushing you from behind, and with red lines now 620 horsepower, this is a car that demands respect. Since Audi bought Lamborghini not too long ago, a lot has been going on in the world of this Italian manufacturer. With the introduction of the Gallardo, the most affordable Lamborghini to date, it's opened the doors for companies like Redline to offer aftermarket parts, taking advantage of this car's popularity. The Murcielago, the granddaddy of all Lamborghinis, has not missed out on this game, and Redline has some amazing parts for that car as well. I think Audi has a winner on their hands and a gold mine for the future. For Auto Access, I'm Tanner Faust. Thanks for watching.